hi everyone today i'll be discussing with you the top three source controls number one on my list is github but i'll be discussing it the last but if i said source control source control is just means where you build develop maintain and ship your software so but i want to explain this thing mostly to the non-programmers so let me start with bitbucket bitbucket is one of the mostly or mainly recognized source control i said i'll be discussing three so i'll be starting with bitbucket all these source control have one thing in common they have the free and the paid version but let me tell you you hardly exhaust the free version it's just the limitation or one or two limitation but you'll be fine you hardly yeah you'll be fine reaching the limit so bitbucket bitbucket was developed 2008 yeah let me say develop 2008 the same thing goes with github the same year so here yeah, if we are discussing source control one thing comes to mind a repository a repository and as a non-programmer or software developer what the hell is repository i'll be let me if we, if i say repository let's just take it as a folder a folder where you keep your documents so as a non-programmer let's assume you are working on a research so all your research papers your documents you need to keep them in one folder so let's call that folder a repository so a repository to a programmer is a project and to a non-programmer let's call it a project also or a research title so the folder holds all your research papers and everything so as many research as you are doing on different topic you need to create a different repository for each and bitbucket it's quite good honestly you create your repository and one thing one thing that makes bitbucket stand out was it free private repository where you have up to five teams and this is one of the earlier feature that make it stand out amongst all yeah well most of the other rep uh, source control have also started implementing all those features so uh, before you continue please subscribe to this channel leave your comment like this video let's just have us an encouragement encourage me to keep on trying thank you so and many organizations are using this source control you know you don't want to lose your files you don't want to lose your files and why why did they call it a source control is because it will help you keep track of all your changes you work on this file you upload it today tomorrow you make a changes to it you you put you update the file so you have advantage of getting access to all the different files version you uploaded so you don't need to like let me undo 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 before i recover the other file no you access every version at the same time so you just click on which version you want to recover and you are good to go they have big companies using them you know paper we work for and lots so the free version you pay nothing and you use it perfectly well so i advise use the free version don't go on premium or standard yet explore it 
and you can always migrate from one plan to another. So let me discuss GitLab. GitLab was developed 2011. It had the free version and the paid version. But one thing with all these things is you are always good with using the free version. Create a repository. A repository creating is the same thing as creating a folder for the non-developer or programmer. Keep your research papers and everything intact in the repository. There are a lot of times when it comes to source control, but I don't want to just get things complicated, mentioning times here and there, but we'll mention them, explain them one after the other. So please stay tuned. There are a lot of things I haven't discussed yet, but I'll definitely not disappoint. So this is not this introduction is not just like explore just log in do this thing. i just want to explain the concept and everything so on my next video i will probably go into them check how they work in to term so we have they have lots of organization and this thing but i don't want us to waste waste time more on gitlab it is good i've used each and every of them i have account with them and honestly you enjoy them so this is the third one which is gitlab let me go back to github earlier on i told you guys i'll be explaining the last why am i explaining the last github is the biggest source control open source control is the biggest and is far 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 ahead understand and i will the welcome page is just showing where the word build software yeah i'm let me you assume i'm not a software developer why github yes that's the question why github but as a non-software developer you don't need to miss out on all these tools you have your OneDrive and you have some files, your research paper you need to keep intact. Open source control doesn't mean all your files need to be public. There is a private feature. Earlier on GitHub doesn't have this private feature, but they implemented these features and you can collaborate with more two or three up to five users so you are doing joint team research create one repository which is the same thing as folder please don't forget that share your research works together and yeah you collaborate collaborate that's that work is very very important you see they have more than 200 million repository more than 4 million organizers and a massive more than 73 million developers you know that's why i say github is massive 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 they have a lot of companies using them and the trial version is perfect for a trial if you are going a professional you can go for their premium package and which serves you it will not you will not be disappointed i promise i promise you on that so here this is the structure of how a repository look like in a repository here for example you have the username and here is your repository name this repository name stand same as your project name or let me say a folder you know i shall we'll be referring a repository to a folder so it's the same thing as your folder so here are the files you have inside your folder all your research papers everything picture images video em, any type of file they are welcome and one important feature is you see here star star is just like rating or like so it's just like you clicking on that youtube 
like button now so it's the same thing as star can you click that yeah thank you and watch has like different types once this they upload new file to this repository you want to get notified there are different types so we'll be talking about those ones in the next video there's fork fork is oh you saw you saw this repository and you want to have a copy so it's like copying this repository to your personal account so once you click on fork it will create a copy of exactly this repository to your account under your name if your name is abcd it will now be abcd slash the repository name which is the project so now here easily if you want to down recover or download this back to your system click here and it will give you either to download as a zip or you want to create get the url to this understand then they have alpha here is if you want to upload a new file to the repository so maybe you have there is one research paper document again you want to add it you just click on add file and you can upload there's two types either you upload or from your i development uh, ide ide which is integrated development environment for software developers here these are the different version of upload you've done so whenever you want to revert back to a particular section in time you can just click on this commit and you are good to go you recover your file 100 percent so here is branches so branches is just like uh maybe you want to have a branch your main branch should be the final branch of everything so you create maybe a test branch or a, a just like one or two other branch where you have somebody could just upload to that branch all of the teams maybe two or three yeah, teams of four or five people you all check the branch check what a, a, a collaborator or contributor uploads before you could add it to the main branch so it is safer that way so these are the files and these are the commit message commit yes commit is just like once you are uploading file it will tell you commit just save yeah let me just say as save and you have put a description description will guide you to know what is the changes i did when i was i upload i upload this document so maybe i added an author or i added a name to the list of authors on my uh, reference added it to document just put the message so that it reflects the changes so that you could recall easily and read me read me is just like a description so that you no know, seeing the name of your project or your research here is not enough to tell people what it is all about you no know? so having an about here and a read me give you need to write in total all the, every detail you need and here is the links the reference the, to the files to the tutorial videos and everything that brings about this project putting them here helps a lot helps a lot please before i continue to, to the last part try help me subscribe like this video let it serve as encouragement you liking this video is a sign that goes to youtube regarding that this content is helpful and i want that from you thank you 
So these ones are the git, and I don't. I said I will be explaining it to the non-programmer, so we will not be discussing this git. So contribute collaborators. That means you created your repository and there's someone you want to work on the same project the same research you just add him as a collaborator and you'll be working on the same repository yes you can work as on private or publicly publicly everyone can see your repository and fork it fork which means creating a copy but if it is private only restricted to you and your collaborators you see here is how it will show you if you are updating a document it will show you where there is conflict or changes so that you should cross check them before you commit final finally so that you don't need to lose anything yeah and this all these things i'm explaining to you guys works perfectly on mobile on tab and desktop so you don't use the same features all through you don't need to worry about anything same github on your mobile on your smartphone same on your laptop yeah and any they have if you are a Mac user, a Windows, a Linux, Android, you are good to go. It works on all platforms. Yeah. And let me tell you, among the three, to me, GitHub is extremely fast. Fast. Yeah, it's extremely fast. But using the site, I think it's extremely fast compared to others. Yeah. So I said I will not be discussing the coding and aspect of this thing, just introducing it to a non-programmer. And there's a lot of features, there's GIST, GitHub GIST. It's, GitHub GIST is just like you creating uh, a post where you and your collaborators can discuss. Yeah, GitHub is. On my next video, I will go in total, explore how these things works. So, I don't want to take much of your time. That's why I want to make it briefly on explanation and introduction. On my next video, I will dive into this. And none of the above is superior to other. Yeah, in in one or two ways or the other so all of them are source control so you can choose any of them depending on their level on the level of comfort you find in them so i won't be choosing for you but with my little explanation i think you probably want to try one of these out please subscribe to this channel like this video like this video let it serve as a form of encouragement to keep on doing these things and even to perfect my way of giving out content to you put down the comments so that i should see your criticisms and thumbs up thank you goodbye